You know, a lot of times in all these French drain videos that you see, they really overlook one big thing, and that is the gutters. You know, overflowing gutters, they cause so many problems. Gutters need cleaning. Here's just a short list of the problems that are caused by overflowing gutters. Number one is that foundation damage. You get stress cracks, rotten roof, fascia, and soffit. And of course you get a wet and soggy yard. A simple gutter clean can save you tens of thousands. And this is not a joke. If you've followed our channel, you've seen us repair hundreds and hundreds of foundations. And it, it could be as something as simple as just cleaning the gutter and it would have prevented that you know, $10,000 plus job of fixing that foundation. Here in this video, we're gonna work on some galvanized gutter, uh, just a simple repair. And the reason we're making that repair is because the gutter had never been cleaned and the galvanized metal rusted through. You know, down here in South Florida, there are so many homes that still have galvanized. Whether you have galvanized or not, you need to maintain these systems. Gutter cleaning is so important. So here's a great little how-to on how to repair the galvanized gutter. This is an old galvanized gutter. Can you see the hole in the gutter where it rusted through? Well, we're gonna go ahead and cut this whole section out and replace it with a new piece of aluminum. So first we've got to get up to the top and Eddie's climbing up to the top. There's a couple ways to remove these old spikes. One is you can use a hacksaw just to cut through it. A little bit easier way is to put some vice grips onto the spike and just pound them out. Next we need to cut that galvanized. Remember it's a little thicker than aluminum. It's an interesting note. Why did this galvanize rust? And it's because the gutter remained full of water for so long that it just simply rusted through. Aluminum doesn't do that, but galvanized does. Using the tin snips, we go ahead and make the cut. We come back, we take the hacksaw, finish that cut, and we remove that section of gutter. Just like roofing, we need to overlap that new section of gutter about five inches. And then we put some set screws to hold that together. Don't worry about drilling through this. We're gonna seal this with an OSI sealer and it will not leak. Go ahead and add your new hidden hangers. Those are the new ways to attach the gutter. Once you have that done, we need to seal this. We're gonna use an OSI sealer. This stuff works really good. We wanna seal that seam and the screws. Put a nice little bead of OSI down alongside that. And this is, it'll, it will never leak. Now you can see what it looks like. New section of gutter, and we're all set. A couple of quick notes about safety. You know, Eddie is, he's great. He's not afraid of heights, but he prefers to work on the ladder. You could also do this from the roof, but make sure that you feel comfortable whether you're on the ladder or on the roof and if you don't feel comfortable you should call someone to have this done hey this is chuck with apple drains reminding you that if you believe you can do something i guarantee you can do it have a great day